Okay, and we're <coughs> going to be making a exit button first. Um, so go over to activity main, got the design arm, just put a small button in this time. Yep, there we go. Um, now we could make a string, but honestly I have don't have the energy to do this. Oh, actually, no, I should do it. Because if I'm not going to do it, you're not going to do it. Um, So string exit, oh, exit, um, close it, um, just exit. So that's that's pretty simple, pretty fast as well. Um, you know, over in the activity main, new button at string. Oh, it's Chris. Um, exit. So there we go. We've got the exit button. It's pretty small. Um, we'll increase the width to about fifty. Density pixels, um, oh, actually probably about 150 to make that a bit, a bit better. Yeah, so that's, go to 100. So it's going to be big, but not as big, because you don't want people to be seeing your exit button as your main button. Then the slip of the finger and your app's off and all that. Um, and you also don't want it too small, say, Run DP, because otherwise people are going to be a bit pissed off not being able to find a way to get out of your app and also make a nice one, but not as big as your main buttons, I'd say, but not as small either. Um, okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do Android on click. Um, we've already got go to about. Um, we'll do exit. <coughs> now this one... It's going to be, oh, hang on. we'll actually do close. It's probably a bit more of a better name for something like this. Um, remember, Alt Enter, create close view in main activity. Now, what we do here, so we just do finish, and that should do it. Now, I'm going to run this app just to make sure I'm not feeding you bad information. Um, Man, well, it's a good thing you can't get sick over computers. Mm. It wouldn't be bad if someone created a virus that you could get sick, a human virus over computers. I think that would be, well, that'd be awesome but deadly. Um, so here we go. Now we get, we've got the button. Um, now we'll go back. Um, now we'll exit. Take some time. First time it's run this button. Yep, it's exit. Gone completely. Um, you know, so we've got a bit of an issue here. What if we run finish here? Now, this is a typically a good practice because otherwise, if you were to go back to this method from the about, um, and actually, so we'll put finish here for now. Um, it's not going to do anything. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this activity about. I'm going to drag a nice little button over. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm not going to do anything with this button aside from have Android layout. Oh, no, no. On click. Um, go to main. So, yeah, that's... Uh, Pretty self-explanatory. Um, now we're going to want the intent. Um, whoop, intent must be started with a capital. Um, you don't call it main because honestly, people get will get confused and all that. Is um, you main is a very valuable name in this, so you don't want to intend on that. Um, so maybe just say back. It's not that's not what it does, but that's what we're going to call it. Um, a new intent, which enter um, this comma um, main activity dot class and close the line, and we'll on the next line we'll do start activity back. And now just to finish this one, because after this one goes back, we don't want it to keep running in the background and all that. Um, we want it gone. So we'll run this now and hope everything's. Worked out well. Um, 
again, it just takes a long time to load. Um, I'm assuming most of you guys are having the same problems as I am. Wow, well, it's not even gotten to the point where it's loading the app out. So, come on. Almost there. Okay, so yeah, we've got the button. Um, now, we've got the new button here. So this one's going to uh, finish this view, and it's going to start activity back. So it's going to start the main activity back here. So that, that that's good. That's what we want. So, but at the moment, we're fin when we click on this button, we've finished the activity. But now, what if we were to put back, like without the new button? It just cancels the app. It's gone. So honestly, this is not a good thing, and we're not going to worry about it much now because this is how they insist that you start off the programming and all that. And at some point later on, we'll get to a point where we'll actually implement this button here to go back to the last screen that we were on. We're not going to do that now though. So just um give this code a bit of a run and we'll start doing a bit more in the next tutorial and good luck